So the question is, what do you do with leftover seafood? Green onions, red bell peppers, regular onions, after Battle of the Kitchens. The answer is coming up. Good afternoon, everybody. If you saw in the opening shot, you saw our ingredients. And what we have is some very monsterly large jalapenos. I saw these at the store and I was like, I gotta get some. So I grabbed a half dozen of these jalapenos. They're a good five, almost six inches long. So uh, we have bacon, we have green onion, we have red bell pepper, we have white onion. We have peeled cooked deveined shrimp and leftover scallops from last night. So first thing we're going to do You see the scallops here on the right? I actually seasoned those up with uh, uh, JP's uh, Sweet Heat. Not that there's not going to be enough heat in here. So, all I did is I chopped up all the scall uh, scallops, sorry, and the leftover shrimp. And we're going to add the red bell, the green and white onion in. Ooh, get it in the bowl, dummy. We're probably gonna have way too much filling, but that's okay. All right, we're gonna get this mixed up. I'm gonna get one of the jalapenos cut open. We're gonna start wrapping, and we are going to be cooking these on the char griller kettle today. So, come back. I'll show you what we got, gang. Thanks. All right, uh, here we go. I told you I put the sweet heat from JP Barbecue on the inside. On the outside, when we're done, we're going to be coating them with the JP Licious. Make sure you can see that. Yeah, you can. Okay, here's what we got. We got our jalapeno boat cut up. We have our mixture of our seafood, our peppers and onions, and Italian cheese. I know they say Seafood and cheese doesn't go together, but I didn't ask them, so I don't care. Get rid of this here. Put the boat on the top. Nestle it up real nice. We're gonna wrap this with two strips of bacon. Because, yes, bacon makes everything better. Of course it does. We are going to get these, uh, oh, my toothpick wants to go to work early. We're going to get these pinned up. Hey. Seasoned up. Let me pin this real quick. Sometimes you need one, sometimes two. This one's going to be one, so we're good. JP Licious. Oh, jeez. Hey, dummy, open the right side. I don't want to pour that much on it. I'm sure it's good, but I don't need it all on it. Gonna season this up. Put it with the others on my fine china. And we will bring you back when we head out to the pit. Thanks everybody. All right, let's take a peek at these poppers, huh? Here we are, half hour in. Getting some nice color on that bacon. Probably about another 15 minutes. Uh, we're gonna check the bottom side, flip them if need be. You can see I got my two Weber baskets butted up back to back. You put that in the center, it almost acts like a vortex. Not quite, but close. So, here's our poppers. And we'll bring you back, uh, I don't know when. We'll play it by ear. How's that? See you soon, gang. All right, our seafood poppers are done. 
Uh, you saw in the previous picture the six I had on the plate. I've uh, never tried this before. Going to give you an honest opinion, but we're going to cut one of these bad boys up. Uh, see what we got here. Without every ooh, little scallop just shot out. Wants to fight me. Wife calling. Here we go. Give her a try. Not too bad. Could have added a little more cheese to it. I think it would have helped it. I didn't use cream cheese in this one, honestly. Because I didn't have any. And I was too lazy to go to the store. So, I like the... Uh, the pepper in there, the red pepper, along with the jalapeno. Uh, the bacon is a little chewy, a little crisp. Uh, I think if I let it rest another five, 10 minutes, that bacon will tighten up a little bit. All in all, good though. I like the seafood in there. So if you guys wanna try a different style popper, give this a try. I'm Daddy Dutch, and I'll see you down the road.